Hi friends, it's Miss Erin from the Herrick District Library here with another baby story time for you. This story time is designed for those of us who are about to have babies enter our lives. Um, I always like to say that the earlier you learn this stuff, the better, because you're gonna be so tired when that baby comes home <laughs> that it's nice to have these songs stuck in your head already. Um, through about 18 months or so, this is a very interactive story time. Um, my goal is to introduce these songs to you, these rhymes and songs and activities that you can do at home. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to incorporate them in your daily life. I also am here to remind you that you're doing great and you're already probably doing most of this stuff. Um, you, We like to say we want you to sing, we want you to talk, we want you to uh, play, um, we want you to write, and we want you to read. So there are five of these practices that we, we'd love for you to incorporate throughout your day. Obviously with our really little ones, we're not writing, but we're working our fingers to lay that groundwork for that fine motor skills um, work that we're gonna need in order to hold our pencils someday. Um, when we talk about talking, it's that um, talking back and forth when they start babbling to you, you talk right back or repeat back the sounds that they make. Um, singing, obviously, is the best thing that we can do for our littlest ones. It slows down our speech. They can hear that those words are made up of separate sounds. And read, 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 read. And play. Just play together. Um, so hopefully these are some tools that you can use. Uh, this week, again, I somehow managed to come up with a weird theme in a weird way. It's animal sounds. Uh, animal sounds are great. They're a great way to introduce young children to the idea that, that um, conversation is a thing. That's why we also like that serve and return when we talk back and forth. Um, but making animal sounds can encourage speech in very young children. Uh, they are looking at the shape of your mouth from them. They, they are amazing. Babies are little scientists. Um, they're looking at the shape of your mouth and the sounds that they hear, and they're going to start imitating that. Um, so it's often why, sorry, dadas, if you have any dadas in your life, when we, we often say ma, ma first, because we can see that our lips are making the ma sound, right? Um, but when we say duh, all the work is happening inside our mouth. So it's a little bit more difficult for us to repeat that sound. We'll still hear it. We'll still practice it. But we're going to start with those, those ba and ma sounds because they can actually see and hear uh, how those sounds are. So that's why it worked out this way with animal sounds, I think. I just got very excited about, about that introduction of speech. So. Um, this first one is a great one for playtime. Um, we're going to have a little mouse, and our little mouse is going to run over their tummies in circles. Um, we're going to run in circles around their tummies, and then there's going to be a great big cat. And our cat, we can either make ears like this, or we can make whiskers like this. And we're going to say meow, so that they can really see that meow. Um, and then the mouse is going to run into a hole, and we're going to do a little tickle under their arms. Um, the other great thing about this one is that it kind of introduces the idea of narrative skills, which is that stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So we have something that happens, and then something else happens, and then there's the end of the story, um, which is another really important skill for kids to have to get ready to read. So here's how this one goes. They can sit in front of you. They can lay on their backs in front of you, whatever. They can stand, um, whatever is uh, best for you and your child. So here's how this one goes. It's to the tune of the bear went over the mountain, by the way. So. The mouse ran around the room. The mouse ran around the room. The mouse ran around the room. And what do you think he saw? He saw a great big cat. Meow. He saw a great big cat. Meow. He saw a great big cat. Meow. So what do you think he did? The mouse ran into his hole, the mouse ran into his hole, the mouse ran into his hole, safe and sound at last. So that's it. So again, the exaggerated meow so that they're looking at your mouth and they're looking at your face when you're doing that one. Um, but it's really fun. It's just a little tickle. They're also going to be following your hands around. Um, as, you know, they're going to be following as, as you're moving your hands. So it's great for eye tracking as well. Speaking of eye tracking, this next one is great for eye tracking too. Um, this one is a bumblebee song. So again, we're going to be making a buzz sound, the buh, buh sound, buh, um, that they can hear so well. Um, this one, we're going to have a bumblebee that's sort of flying around and it's going to land on our toes. 
It's going to land on our nose. It's going to land on our arms and our legs and our elbows, which might be a new one for us. And then it's going to land and then he's going to go. So um, this is, a, again, another great one for eye tracking. Again, they can be on their backs. They can be uh, standing up. They can be sitting up. Just a fun one to do. And this is to the jingle to the tune of Jingle Bells. <laughs> bumblebee, bumblebee, landing on my toes. Bzzz. Bumblebee, bumblebee, now he's on my nose. Bzzz. On my arms, on my legs, on my elbows. Bzzz. Bumblebee, bumblebee, he lands and then he goes. Bzzz. That's it. So again, great for eye tracking. We need our eyes to be strong um, in order to read words on the page and to be able to move our eyes. Um, so it's a really, really quick and great one for that, but also super fun and introducing those body parts. You can obviously um, substitute arms and legs for any body part. Um, I, I was just I just watched a video the other day of a parent who is teaching their child things like the femur and they were very young and I was like dang that's such a good idea yeah teach them where their femur is um, so there's no rules there's no rules there's just what um, any any context and any new vocabulary that you can introduce to your young child is great um, this next one. I uh, should have brought some puppets with me. I didn't. Um, or a picture book, but I didn't. But I'm going to uh, do it anyway, because I think this is also a great one to do with older siblings. Um, this is uh, one that you can also do with any... I, I don't... Sometimes when I take out puppets, I start feeling a little bit guilty because I have a wealth of puppets at my disposal. Lots of parents don't. Lots of families don't have that. Um, so this is a great one that you can just do with a picture book of with has that has a bunch of different animals in it. Um, you don't have to read the words. You don't have to do any of that. You can just point at um, the animals and say, this is a cow. Do you know what sound a cow makes? Moo. So you don't have to have anything fancy to do this. This is also a great one if you happen to be going to a petting zoo of some kind. Um, it's a great one to sing when you're around those animals um, so that they can get that real life thing, right? They can see the animal and then you get to make that sound. So the other, yeah, so uh, this one is to Do You Know the Muffin Man? Um, and this is how this one goes. What sound does a cow make? A cow make? A cow make? What sound does a cow make when they make a sound? What sound does a cow make? Moo! Let's do another animal. Hmm. How about a sheep? What sound does a sheep make? A sheep make? A sheep make? What sound does a sheep make? when they make a sound. ba ba. that's what sound a sheep makes. So again, this is a great one. What is really great about this one is for our really little ones who are still learning, this is what a cow is, this is the sound they make, they can use that context. But if we're a little bit older, we already have that background knowledge. So it's actually great for them to be able to imagine what a cow looks like in their heads and then make the sound. Um, so even at 18 months, we're going to be able to do that. We've been exposed to those animal sounds before. So keep that in mind that you don't have to have anything. You can, be sing you can sing this in the car. You can sing this while you're waiting in line at the doctor's office. You can do it really anywhere. It's kind of a fun game. Um, and then ask them what animals they want to, to do, and you can sing it that way as well. Um, I have one more that I want to share with you, and this one is a cuddle song. This one doesn't have anything to do with animals. It's just cuddles. <laughs> um, it's been a little while since I've shared a cuddle song, so I thought I would do that. Um, this is a, to a, a, a very old tune. I don't even remember the name of it, but you might recognize it once I start singing it. So, and it's it's a kind of a fast song, and I'm slowing it down the tune down a little bit just so that we can um, get a little soothing. Miss Erin tends to be a little like woo, and so I thought I'd give you a soothing song this week too. Here's how this one goes. All I want are cuddles from you, cuddles that last the whole day through. Cuddles just make me feel so good. So cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. 
Give me lots of cuddles today, cuddles that chase the blues away, cuddles that last the whole day through, cuddles, cuddles, cuddles. That's all that one is. It's just been a little while, and I thought maybe a new cuddle song would be helpful. It's time to say goodbye. Do you remember how we like to say goodbye at Baby Story Time? Because Erin has her friend. <gasps> Hello, Mouse. Can you say hello to our friends at home? Hi, friends. Mouse, would you like to play some peekaboo with our friends? Our friends really like to play peekaboo. Yes. Yeah, I thought you did. Let's cover our eyes. Here we go. Peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you. I see you. I see your tiny toes. I see your button nose. Peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo. Yay! Great job, friends. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.